so hello guys in this uh, small tutorial i would like to show you how to make a small flood animation model so for that add the dem data you have over here so this is the dem data make sure that uh, it's uh, in a projected coordinate system uh, so now just check the properties first of all that it's in the projected coordinate system by going into the layer properties over here and in the source so as uh, you can see over here that it's in a, a transverse marketer means a projected coordinate system so after that uh, you have to just uh, make a base water level for making a flood for showing the flood so just make a shape file in the you know how to make a shape file i must uh, be sure about it so make a shape file over here just uh, i am giving it in a polygon and uh, make sure that the shape files uh, coordinate system should be also same as the dem you have imported so once it's done click the ok and uh, now you can uh, just uh, now make the shape file over it a polygon over it so start editing so once you have uh, started the editing now you can just make a shape file over the dm so i would not be wasting your time uh, showing you how to make a shape file over it you must be pretty much uh, you must be pretty much knowing it how to make a shape file over it once the shape file is made so once this uh, shape file is made you can save it and uh, then uh, so now let's open the arc scene so once the arc scene is open now you have to add the both the data the dm data and the shape file in the arc scene so you can see over here i have just added it over here and uh, just click on the properties of the dm make sure that the base heights are different uh, almost uh, that over here just change it from 1 to 1.5 so you can see now that there is an elevation over scene over here and uh, they have a base height at a different level now let's say for a proper visual change the colors okay so now you can see uh, it's properly visual the mountains and all now let's change the base levels water base level so that we can properly assume the water flowing as a blue color so now so this is after all this is done uh, now the time comes to be the make the animation over here so if you are not showing the any not having the animation bar click on it and uh, just uh, get the animation bar just uh, click on the animation manager and uh, over here make sure that the layers is uh, kept as default now create and uh, make sure here the layers and the base water base is uh, shown now just uh, click on the new and create uh, at least 10 uh, points create at least 10 um, animation points over here so by clicking just create you can create at least 10 or you can just make 10 or 12 more as much as you want after this is done then uh, there is a transition z level over here so make sure that the transition z level must be at least lower is there is it seen 441 and uh, what 4327 uh, so the transition z level should be at least in between that so i would start from the 441 as the base layer over here and just uh, go within an interval of 50 to 100 500 and 600 and up to this point 1300 so once it updated and close it now the point comes to be open the animation controls and uh, in the options 
the set the duration uh, it 10 seconds is much less uh, take it till 15 okay now start uh, you can also see by the play mode should be loop in a loop as uh, you can see that the water coming up and then getting it down now play it So it actually you can see the water getting up, water flowing over there in the floods condition situations and it now it's getting uh, getting it down. So this is a flood induction model. So because at the beginning of this tutorial I told you that in this tutorial I am going to show you a simulation of a flood induction but in a perspective of a hydraulics engineer or a water resource engineer this is actually not really an accurate representation of a flood induction. This is a sort of under an, a hypothetical assumption that if you uh, have the boundaries or wall kind of structure in the DEM has been covered by let's say walls or something and if you were just to pour water into a DEM so this is actually how the induction would look like but uh, if you, we were to be a real flood induction situations you have to take into account things uh, such as river hydraulics and uh, flood plain hydraulics things like that and if you were to actually do a proper flood induction simulation you have to use a hydrodynamic software like uh, Haycross or probably you can use another advanced software like uh, Mike Level Coupled or uh, Mike 21 uh, so that's actually a software package from Danish Hydraulic Institute uh, which is uh, quite frequently used for the flood related projects and so that something to be keep in mind um, so now I would actually to name this tutorial as a cool trick uh, that you can do in order to simulate the hypothetical flood induction scenario so if you have any questions regarding this you can actually comment uh, them down below and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you would like to see this uh, like to see this again more tutorials so please uh, consider like liking this video smash that like button subscribe this channel and uh, yeah hope to uh, see you in the next video